وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله عظيم الإحسان واسع الفضل والجود والامتنان أحمده سبحانه على جزيل نعمائه ووافر فضله وكريم عطائه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الحق المبين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الداعي إلى صراط الله المستقيم صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Today إن شاء الله تعالى I want to start a series called حاسبوا أنفسكم قبل أن تحاسبوا Account yourself before you're accounted for. Before the day of judgment comes and you are judged based on every statement and every action that you've done, do it in advance. Do it now while you're still in this world. Muhasabatun nafs, accounting yourself, is two types. There's no un qabla al-amal accounting yourself before you do the action, thinking and pondering before the action occurs from you. And the second type is thinking and pondering and contemplating of what you've just done after you've committed the action, after you've done what you've done. The first type, which is before the action, okay, فهو it means أن يقف عند أول همه وإرادته When you first want to do this action, you stop. Hold yourself back. You don't hasten to do the action. ولا يبادر بالعمل You don't just hasten to do the action حتى يتبين له رجحانه على تركي Until you think of this particular action. Is it good? Is it bad? Should I do it or should I not? That type is known as muhasabatun uh, nafs qabla al-amal before the action. There's another type which is muhasabatun nafs ba'da al-amal. You think and you ponder and you contemplate of the action before you do it. I'm um, after you do it. Sorry. The second type is after you do it, and this is three types. Okay, it is. محاسبة على طاعة قصرت فيها من حق الله تعالى فلم توقعها على الوجه الذي ينبغي You're accounting yourself for an act of obedience that you fell short on The rights of Allah تبارك وتعالى that you did not do in the way that you should have The second one is أن يحاسب نفسه على كل عمل كان ترك خيرا له من فعله Thinking and pondering over every action in which leaving it was better than doing it. It was better for you to leave it than to do it. Every action that to leave it would have been better than doing it, the person to contemplate and ponder over it. And the third one, inshallah ta'ala, is أن يحاسب نفسه على أمر مباح أو معتاد to ponder and to contemplate over something that is mubah, permissible, okay? And it's norms. You think and you ponder over it and you say, lima fa'ala, why did you do it? I mean, why did he, the person thinks of why did they do this action? Wahal arada bihi Allah, did I intend Allah's face? Waddar al akhirah and the day of judgment? So I can become فَيَكُونُ رَابِحًا So I could have reaped some fruits and benefits from it. أو أراد بها الدنيا أو أراد به الدنيا Or did I intend this to gain worldly benefits? وَعَاجِلِهَا فَيَخْسِرَ ذَلِكَ الرِّبْحِ وَيُفَوِّتُهُ الظَّفَرُ بِهِ And you lose out achieving the blessing and the good that you could have got from it. It's مباح But I could have got reward for it. It's something I normally do, but I could have I could have done for the sake of Allah and I would have got rewarded for it. I provide for my family, I give them money, but I never intend to do it for Allah's sake. I just do it because I love my family, khalas. Or I do it because I want people to say, 
But this man is a man who cares for his family. So you lose out the reward. You lose out the reward. You could have done it for Allah's sake and tried to get closer to Allah by doing this and you would have got rewarded for it. So the point here, brothers and sisters, is that the believer, he does al-muhasaba. He thinks and he ponders and he accounts himself. If you're a businessman or a businesswoman and you own a company or you're a CEO of, CEO of a company or you're an accountant, this is what you tend to do. You count down, calculate the money, the net profit, the gross profit. You, you check everything and you cross out the, the, the dots and the, the, all of this. Why, brothers and sisters? So you know where you're at and where you need to be and how far you are from your goal. Inshallah ta'ala, I want to now mention, I've spoken about what it means, muhasabatun nafs, accounting yourself. Okay? I now want to go into the benefits that come with muhasabatun nafs. Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, mentioned it. So inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to mention it from his statement, rahimahullah. He says, وَفِي muhasabati al nafs عِدَّةُ مَصَالِحِ There are many benefits that are in pondering and contemplating over your actions, before or after. Okay? There are benefits. The first one is the, the person starts to see the errors and the faults that are there. And he mentions, he says, If the person doesn't really think about the mistakes and the shortcomings that are present in him, you will not be able to remove it. If the person ponders over his shortcomings and his faults and his يعني, deficiencies, Okay, he's able to, inshallah ta'ala, destroy it and get rid of these faults and these problems and be able to come with what? With good qualities and good characteristics and attributes. So that's the first benefit, inshallah ta'ala, he mentions. The second benefit, benefit that he mentions from muhasabatun nafs is Allah ta'ala. The person starts to realize and learn the rights of Allah upon him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he mentions, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَعْرِفْ حَقَّ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى عَلَيْهِ and the person who does not know the rights of Allah upon him, فَإِنَّ عِبَادَتَهُ لَا تَكُونُ أَمَا فَإِنَّ عِبَادَتَهُ For verily, this person's act of worship, لَا تَكَادُ تُجْدِي عَلَيْهِ وَهِيَ قَلِيلَةٌ الْمَنْفَعَةِ جِدَّا If the person doesn't know Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, the act of worship that you do, the person will not what? He won't get the benefits from it. Also, the benefits that Ibn al-Qayyim didn't mention this, but it's another benefit that could be added on, is that you'll be following the Qur'an and you'll also be following the statement of the great companion Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala. The ayah, inshallah ta'ala, I want to go through it bi al kareem so I'll leave it for later. Uh, the statement of Allah, I'll leave it for later because I really want to go into it and explain it. But the statement of Umar ibn al-Khattab where he said, حَاسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَن تُحَاسَبُوا وَزِنُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَن تُزَنُوا وَتَزَيَّنُوا لِلْعَرْضِ الْأَكْبَرِ يَوْمَ تُعْرَضُونَ لَا تَخْفَى مِنْكُمْ خَافِيَةً Abdullah ibn Mubarak narrated this in his book as Zuhd. Ibn Abi Shayba narrated this in his Musannaf. And Ibn Abi Dunya he narrated in his kitab uh, or in his book Muhasabatu al-Nafs. Umar radiallahu anhu, what did he say? He said, حَاسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَن تُحَاسَبُوا Account yourself before you're accounted for. وَزِنُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَن تُوزَنُوا Scale yourself. Weigh yourself and your statements and what you said and what you do before it's scaled at Yawm Al-Qiyamah. وَتَزَيَّنُوا لِلْعَرْضِ الْأَكْبَرِ Adorn yourself before the day of presentation. يَوْمَ تُعْرَضُونَ لَا تَخْفَى مِنْكُمْ خَافِيَةً The day when everything that people have said and done will be presented to Allah wa ta'ala and nothing will be hidden from him subhanahu wa ta'ala. That statement alone of Umar ibn al-Khattab is a powerful statement that a person should sit down and really think and ponder over. So inshallah ta'ala, this is the series and this is what I'm going to be talking about. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? 
It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.